Hey there everybody, welcome back to the Four Strings Drum of the channel, it's all about ukuleles. Today we're going to be working on an old folk song called Cindy Cindy, or Get Along Home Cindy Cindy, or just plain old Cindy. Um, and uh, we're going to be using the banjo ukulele today, but you can use whatever ukulele you've got, doesn't really matter, I just think it sounds particularly nice on the banjo uke. This particular song is uh, just three basic chords. We've got a C, and it goes to G7. And there's also an F thrown in there as well. Let me review how the song goes, and then we'll talk about the strumming. Well, I wish I was an apple hanging on a tree. And every time that Cindy passed, she'd G7. Take a little bite of C, B, get along. Get into the chorus now. Goes to F. Home, Cindy, Cindy, get along, C. Home, F again, get along, home. Cindy, Cindy, G7, I'll marry you someday back to C. Okay, let's take a look at the strumming. So for the strumming, you can do a few things. You can just do kind of a boom chuck, kind of a what I call the paintbrush strum. So it's just paint, brush, paint, brush. So you're just hitting the top string with your thumb and then brushing the rest of the strings with your fingers. Gives you that ringing high G sound. And, and the good thing with that, with a song like this, it sort of gives you that ringing sound similar to what you'd get from a five string banjo, um, more like a claw hammer sort of a sound out of it, okay? Without going too crazy on the claw hammer thing, okay? You can just strum along with it. But that's the nice thing about the reentrant tuning with a high G on a banjo ukulele, okay? Kind of gives you that sound. Okay, so, you can do that. You can see my Cindy. She comes from way down south. And then if you want to jazz it a little bit more, you can bring your thumb back up and split the brush part of paintbrush in two. And that would be, I call that sledgehammer just because the words work. Sledgehammer, 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 like that. Y'all see my Cindy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. She's so sweet, the honeybees, they roll them out. Blah, 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 blah. Okay? Now, if you want a full tutorial just on how I get that strumming going, I'll put one here and uh, you can follow that through. Then I also do another tutorial on this type of strumming. Where I'm doing the chord bouncing kind of a thing and um, it you get that hammer on going and it really adds a lot more jazz to it. So I'll put that up here, that's called the five steps to my secret strum and the only thing that's real secret about it was I didn't really know how I did it and I had to figure it out for myself so there you go all right let's get into the song here we go let's give her a whirl well y'all see my Cindy she's from way down south she's so sweet the honeybees they swarm around her mouth get along home Cindy Cindy get along home Get along home, Cindy, Cindy, I'll marry you someday. Well, I wish I was an apple just hanging on a tree. And every time that Cindy passed, she'd take a bite of me. Get along home, Cindy, Cindy, get along home. Get along home, Cindy, Cindy, I'll marry you someday. I wish I had a needle. folks another good old folk song you know there's one thing that always bothered me about this song was that the guy was so in love with Cindy Cindy why was he always telling her to get along home and it was like he wanted to be with her but he was telling her to go away and anyway I did a little bit of reading on it and apparently the song the oldest 
written version that they can find of this um, talks about a guy that was on his way to Richmond uh, to sign up for the Civil War. And the story goes, I guess, that the girlfriend was there at the train station kind of thing and he was telling her get along home and when he got back from the war that they would get married so and then over years I guess people just made up their own verses for it and uh, and we've got the song with all different kinds of verses now right so anyway just kind of interesting when you look at some of these things it's like the song uh, John Henry I mean it's about a real guy right and it's a real story um, and sometimes you just think it's something that some guy made up along the way. But anyway, there's backstories to all of these songs. And, and when you can discover them, I find it really interesting. So anyway, that's it for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, any comments, just drop them down into the comment section. I'm always more than happy to help you out. Until we see you next time, maybe at one of these videos here. Keep smiling, keep strumming, and have fun. Bye for now.